everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with yet another Contrast Plus Cursed City tutorial. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting bats and rats. Yeah, bats and rats. These are really cool little models. And we've got some really fast recipes for these, which are going to be a lot of fun to do. So I'm very excited to paint these. And um, yeah, without much further ado, they've all been primed in Grace here, so make sure you prime yours in Grace here. If you want them to be a bit warmer, you could use Wraithbone, but Grace here is what we're going for because everything in Curse City is cold and dead. Yes, so grab your paints, grab your brushes, and let's get started. So the place we're going to start is with all of our rats. And this is because, well, they're going to be nice and quick to do. And so what we're going to do is just going to pop these two to the side. There we go. We're going to start with this big one because we've got, well, this big rat here in the middle. Now the two colours that we're going to be using are Basilican and Grey and Wildwood. And what we want to do is basically pick out every so often every rat with different colours. Now you can use as much of one colour or as little as the other as you like, or you can go for a balance, or you can do a whole base like this, but we're going for a little bit of variation here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Basilican and Grey on our brush first. I'm going to use this to pick out our first rat. Now I'm going to pick this little guy out here. Just like that. And I'm going to do the uh, one here at the front, I think. No, this one just under here as well with the Basilica on grey. Like that. Make sure we get all the way under. Like that. Nice and simple. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my brush. And on the next rack just above it, I'm going to use Wildwood. It's this one here. Again, I'm going to just coat this all over. And what you'll notice in these rats is they've got some exposed bone and skulls. You can try to avoid that, but don't worry if you, if you don't. You can always go back to it a bit later. Silicon grey, not that one. Uh, like for example there, I've just gone over that skull. Uh, it's an exposed skull, so normally typically we'd leave that, but what we will do is we'll just we'll just neaten that back up with some grey here afterwards. Additionally, what we also want to try and do is avoid getting any of these paints on the tails. So with that done, you should have piles of rats that look somewhat like this. Now, don't worry if they look a little bit weird, we're about to fix that. So what we're going to do, once again, grab this base, base of rats, and the colour we're going to use is Black Templar. We're going to use this over the top of our grey and our brown to give us two different tones of rat at the same time. Just like that. Now it'll look a little, a little, look, it'll look, it'll look, it'll look, can't get my words out. It'll look a lot more obvious <laughs> once it dries. If you're worried, you can always add in a little bit of medium to this black Templar coat, just to make those undercoats a lot more prevalent. So with that done, you should have three piles of rats that look somewhat like this, and you can see that subtle difference between the grey black and the brown black. It just looks awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some dark oath flesh. And we're going to use this to paint in all of their rat tails. Just like this. And with that dark earth flesh applied, what we then do is take some Agaros dunes and we paint this over the bones. Just 
just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight our rats. Now we're going to start with the black rats. And the colour that we're going to use is Dawnstone. And all we want to do is we just want to pick out the edges. Like this. And with that done, what we then do is take a tiny amount of administratum grey and we add this is a little bit of a spot highlight on just some of the sharpest areas. Quite often you can just get away with doing a little bit of it around the face. Just like that. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some Bane Blade Brown and highlight our brown rats. And with that done, what we now want to do is take some pallid witch flesh and use this to highlight all of our bone. And next up, to finish off our rats, what we then want to do is take a small amount of Evil Sun Scarlet and use this to just apply a little dot for each of their eyes. And with that done, our rats are now finished. go they look awesome so what we're gonna do now is pop them to one side and now we're gonna start work on our bats and so with our rats done it's now time to move on to our bats and well the color palette is pretty much exactly the same but the application is somewhat different so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this one because it's the easiest one to film. And the colour we're going to be using first is Wildwood. Now we're going to be using this to colour in all of the spines. On our bat. Just like this. What we're also going to do is use it on the body. But not the face. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Basilicanum Grey. I'm going to use this all over the rest of the bat. And the only place to try and avoid is inside their ears. Because that's going to be a slightly fleshier colour.
Vai lá. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to make a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and black templar. I'm going to use this over the whole model, just excluding those ears. And with that done, you should have some pretty awesome looking bats already. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly take some storm vermin fur. I'm going to lightly dry brush this over the black and the brown. It's very, very gentle. And with that done, what we then want to do is we want to take some administratum grey and we just want to pick out the sharpest areas on our bats, on the black details. And then next up we want to do a very similar thing with some Bane Blade Brown, just on the brown sections, so the spines and the bodies. And then next up, we want to take some Dark Oath Flesh, I want to use this to colour in their ears. And with that done, we then want to take a tiny amount of Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to colour in the fangs. And also just colour in the tongue just for a moment. And next up, we want to use a tiny dot of Evil Sun Scarlet to paint in the eyes. And so with that done, you should have some bats that look somewhat like this. They look awesome and creepy and disgusting which is exactly what we're after so all that's left to do is to work on their bases and that's exactly what we're going to do the first color we're going to use is basilicanum gray i'm going to use this for all of the stone this is to match the rest of the set And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some wildwood. Use this to shade all of our vines and branches. And by shade, I of course mean paint. And 
And of course, in classic war hipster fashion, we forgot to paint in the tongue, which we painted with Screaming Skull. So the color we're gonna use for that is Volupus Pink. What do we wanna do? Just very carefully add a little Volupus Pink. Just like that. And with that done, <laughs> what we now want to do is take some skeleton horde and we want to use this to paint in any candles and skulls. And with that done, all that remains is to take some Black Templar to use this on the wicks of the candles. Like that. And with that done, our bats are now finished. All that's left to do is their bases. Now, I'm not going to cover how to do that because we've already done this in how to paint Captain Imelda Braskov and how to paint Jelson Darrock. So if you'd like to see how I'm going to do that, you absolutely go and check out those videos. Otherwise, of course, I recommend that you finish them off in the same scheme as the rest of your Cursed City set. And there we have it. The lowliest of the lowliest of denizens of Olfen Khan are now finished. And they're really gross, but they're really, really cool. I've said it many times on the channel that a set is only as good, or an army is only as good, as its tiniest of gribblies. And I think the Cursed City set is no different to that. And they just kind of really bring to life. And with the other six of these, it's a real swarm of crit critters. It just looks awesome on the table, having played the game a couple of times now. And yeah, really effective and really fun to do. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, like these legends and bosses that you can see on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.